Hi guys, welcome back. So you all aware that Google Assistant is rolling out to Android Marshman and the Nougat devices. Earlier it was only exclusive for the Pixel phones. So in this video, I will be talking about some of the best top 10 features. So now these are not the only features that are there. There may be other media reminder too. And let's get started guys and check out. Uh, I will be using two phones because some things aren't working here. Some things aren't working for <laughs> Pixel. I don't know. I have tried to do the best with. So let's get started. I will show you my screen recording stuff here alongside on the screen right side. So first off, let me show you my Nexus 6P screen. So right here, this is my desktop and if you just have to press the home button, if you just press it here, you will get this assistant like initial how I can help you. So I'm just going to take you to the settings and uh, the screen might be a little freezing because I'm just doing the screen recording. So this is my uh, email and actually the name you can see is written as Sahil. Uh, it will be taken as your personal name that you will change it and there are some stuffs like on the phone you can see it's like home control news my day shopping list so these things are not there on my pixel i don't know why but hopefully they should come so if you go inside this home control you're going to get this if you have any google of the home devices like google wi-fi stuff it will show you here news section you can actually configure what is your favorite news section actually if, if you could you can do the reorder from here i just took the scene in above now if i take npr news summary above if you go to customize it will show you long list of news you can just select it from there from which you want to get the news feeds you go to the my day it will show you all the possible reminder stuff so you want to check out whether the commute next meeting reminders so many things are there shopping list is actually well if you have the google home or if you have the google keep integrated so you can just type the item here uh, a a a if you just enter it will b b b so whatever shopping list you will create in the google keep that should come here so right now you can just some other settings like use screen contacts uh, you can select the english language or what if you are in india so try to select the language you are there because you know if you just try to speak some of the name that are belong to here like if i try to speak uh, hi sahil so it won't take sahil it will take as a lisa hill so uh, try to select your uh, own country language Earlier it was English US, I was doing some stuff to make it work. Some personal info, it will take you there. And this important session called My Activity. I will let you guys know very soon what is that. So I'm just moving out. So let's get started and guys check out some of the basic commands now. You can ask for the weather if I just ask. Uh, what's, what's the weather like today? So it will just show you. Uh, show me tomorrow's forecast ask anything here and uh, you can see and also you can see it's showing you suggestions like always use celsius you can take it as a celsius show me my calendars show me my calendar items so it shows the install application so some things are not missing now uh, this important feature if you try to send any message as a via voice message uh, in the Google system, it's not working. It just supports only WhatsApp and the default messenger application. But if you use with the Google Hello, it can send you to so many places. So you can just type any message. Like if I type on a Pixel, uh, send a WhatsApp message to Sarah Putta. So it will show you the possible numbers. You can select any numbers. If you just type the first select first message. Uh, Google Assistant has uh, based on the AI which means artificial intelligence is the machine learning so whenever you uh, say something it tries to remember each activity so if you guys are anywhere Google records all of your activity whatever you type in like it uh, everything is there you know, on your stored Google web server so uh, same way in the Google Assistant if you can just say it my computer pin is 1234 okay, see here yeah, it is working on the next SSP now if I ask uh, what was my computer pin So as you can see, actually it's kind of your digital wallet, you can type into a store or anything. Now uh, I will show you one important stuff like searchable history. So whatever you type on your phone, everything is stored, I mentioned. So let me show you how you can get that. You just have to go to the settings. Uh, let me show you my Nexus 6 please. So uh, now you got, uh, you just have to go to the my activity. Like I'm just going to the my activity. It goes to the myactivity.google.com should have so many things here so let it open first now you can see there is a search assistant uh, there is search bar on the top side just about the filter by date we just type something suppose you want to search something you just type in and hit search button it will show you when day uh, which you, when did you did that so you can see first day today at 10 36 am right now and we are just asking what was my pin it shows the answer and also 10 36 10 35 so i was just actually 
trying to check out the commas is working or not. So you can see as such all the stuff that you have, even though say your phone is not with you, you just doesn't have Google Assistant, you can just type in like myactivity.google.com on any of the computer, any of the phone, whether whatever device you use, it doesn't support Google Assistant, you can actually get your things whatever you have typed on. Uh, show me my Google Photos. So as you can check out, these are my photos there. I can easily browse and scroll there. So all the photos are there. You can actually browse it. Show me, show me my car photos. This is what I found so these are the photos that I have loaded to my Google Photos. These are my car. Uh, this is Ludwig Verna 2013 model. It's kind of sort of old. Maybe we'll change it to next year. All right. So this is about the stuff. Now one of the things that I do use very frequently is the translator. So you can translate so many things here. For example, if you want to convert UST to INR, or if you want to just translate the language. So let me show you. How do you say hello in Urdu? How do you say hello in Urdu? Here is your translation. They show the stuff. Okay. Hello in Spanish. Hola. Hola. Hello in Russian. Hello in Russian. So you can do uh, uh, pretty much very much. You can ask it to. Now this is about a uh, language. Now if you ask for the currency, uh, show me the dollar price today. Show the dollar price today. Mm, it is so very quickly. So I don't know. My pixel is sometimes not working. So if I just ask the same here, okay. Show me the dollar price today. shows exactly it. Now if I now if we try to convert it, uh, convert 5000 Indian rupees to dollar. 5000 Indian rupees equals 74 United States dollars 80 cents. Convert this to euro. 1 United States dollar equals 95 cents. Now what we learned from here, uh, Google Assistant actually uh, takes the previous chat, remember the changes previous chat, it analyzes it, it shows, it knows what you asked for. That's why I just said uh, convert this to uh, euro. Uh, euro by said it just took the euro. Anyway, so it knows actually what you are doing. So it's a machine language, machine learning. The more you use it, the more you can uh, do with the Google Assistant. Uh, show me my alarms. You have three alarms every Friday at 4.45. So you can see. Kind of very sleepy actually. I'm just changing my habit. I'm waking up very early nowadays at the 4 30 because the morning time is so peaceful, you know, birds, voice, and all those stuff. So I'm just going to set an alarm. Uh, set an alarm for 6 a.m. tomorrow. Got it. Your alarm set for tomorrow at 6 a.m. View alarms. You have four alarms every day at 5 So that's how I show so much alarm stuff. Now, how you configure the Google Assistant? To you know to say it, uh, how do you get, get pronounced? So I can type it. Uh, call me Sahil. Like Sahil. Yes. Okay, got it. What is my name? Your name is Sahil. Yes. In case you forgot, like something happened. Now some of the general stuff I do have written in here. Uh, if you just ask me, uh, what is the news about iPhone eight? So I show some cons, uh, kind of uh, things from the Google, like search activity, images, all the stuff. And some other things like uh, uh, toss a coin, tails, flip a coin. Actually, if you just try the same on, you know, Cortana, it was very great. It shows you a real coin animated stuff. So sometimes uh, there's a video of, I did a made that with the Cortana, but says, you know, the Google Assistant. So check that out. Tell me a joke. One joke coming up. Did you hear about the houses that fell in love? It was a long distance relationship. <laughs> Many small small stuff. Okay. Uh, I am bored. I'm pretty good at finding ways to pass the time. You can play a game. I can tell you a joke or you can like surprise you with some random thoughts. So, so there you have it guys. These are the some features and uh, things that I use with the Google Assistant. So try to use it. It's actually very nice. 
you can just uh, if you're not using a lock system of your phone like uh, you just sit it you can just so much stuff like your phone is sitting on the drawer and you just ask it can, as dollar price can you convert this or uh, translate this to other language so these are the things that i do use very much and also setting alarm cancelling the alarm this kind of thing sending message to whatsapp so pretty common thing so there you have it guys hope you guys enjoyed this this is sarav thank you so much for watching i'll catch you soon have a great day